With Wimbledon all wrapped up, it was the story of a heroic mom, a momentous first, and unexpected successes for Team USA at tennis's most famous Grand Slam. Hey everyone, I'm Nick McCarville, just outside the historic grounds of the All England Club, where the sun sets on another pristine fortnight at tennis's grass court major. Once again, it was Serena Williams, the new mom and 23-time Grand Slam champion who made international headlines, dropping just one set as she battled her way back for a 10th time here at Wimbledon and for a 30th Grand Slam final in her career. It was in the final that Serena took on a familiar foe in German, Angelique Kerber. While Serena had only dropped one set on the way to that final, it was the German who came through in a straight set affair in the championship tilt. But Serena accepted the runner-up trophy with grace, but also vowed that this was just the start of things to come in another new chapter in her storied career. Week two at Wimbledon also belonged to John Isner, who broke personal barriers by reaching the fourth round, the quarterfinals, and then the semifinals in what turned out to be an instant classic with fellow big server Kevin Anderson. Anderson would win a six hour, 36 minute marathon, 26-24 in the deciding set, and exhausted Isner bowing out, but holding his head high for making his first major final four in his career. Isner's fellow former college standout Mackenzie McDonald also had a first, making the fourth round in his first ever appearance at Wimbledon. He bowed out to Canadian Milos Raonic. Mike Bryan, one half of the famed Bryan Brothers duo, won his first doubles title without his brother Bob. He teamed up with Nebraskan fellow American Jack Sock as they beat Raven Clausen and Michael Venus in the men's doubles final. Meanwhile, Florida's Nicole Malachar, she reached the final in both the women's doubles event and the mixed doubles event. In the women's doubles event, Malakar and her partner Kaveta Peshki, they fell to Barbara Krejcikova and Katerina Siniakova. Meanwhile, in the mixed doubles event, she made the final with Alexander Pea and they were triumphant over Jamie Murray and Victoria Azarenka. With tennis having finished its European summer swing, it's now time to go to North America for the hard court season in the lead up to the US Open. You can go to teamusa.org for tennis coverage and much more. But for now, from me, it's cheers and goodbye from Wimbledon.